everybody, this is um, going to be an unboxing. I've never done an unboxing before, so forgive the amateurness of this uh, video. So, what we have here is the Joby Grip Tight mount for a smartphone, and in particular, this one is an XL. They've not long been out, I hadn't seen a review of the XL before, so I thought I'd do one. Why do you need an XL? Well, phones are getting bigger and especially if you have a new iPhone 6 and you want to put it in something like an Otterbox Defender the uh, standard grip tights won't work so I think we'll uh, give this one a try this was £15 or I'll probably convert to about $23, 24 dollars that would probably be more like $15 over in the States because everything's more expensive here. I've got this one from Bristol Cameras. They've just got the stock in. And just plain packaging. We have instructions in case you don't know how to use it. And that's it. You don't get a lot for your £15, but what you do get is quite effective. First of all, I'd like this little hole just off to the tripod down, as you can see by instructions here. You can put a key ring on it, or rather have a key on it, you could have a carabiner. And you could hang that on your bag, backpack, or whatever. And this is basically all this does is just flips that way, flips that way, and there it is. It works by spring, very tight spring, and moves up and down. So first of all, just need to show you. This is the iPhone 6. It's quite big once you put it in an otter box. Uh, it makes it quite wide, so. Just put that in the grip, maybe underneath, and that's, as you can see, completely solid in there. Now the idea of this is to mount it on a tripod, of course. There's no way you can really mount it on a tripod, there's no holes, no fixings, nothing else. So first of all I have a very small little portable tripod, just put this in your pocket, go out for the day, go and set it up next to the street and do time lapse photography, it's that easy. You don't have to card around a big tripod. And then all you do for that is screw the grip tight on board, a few turns, lock it in. Flip it back up again. Get the phone. This will work on S5s and the new Z3. Apparently, you'll even go to an iPhone 6 Plus. It does stretch quite a long way. And there you have it. There you can do your filming with it. Let's just turn this on, give you a clue what's going on. And you can adjust it how you want. You can make a handy stand for watching the film. So anyway, I'm just going to pause it there and it's just going to swap over. So what I have here is my red snapper quick release plate type thing. Any tripod does well, sorry most tripods that are, are any good have the plates on Manfrotto cheaper valve bonds 
and the idea of that is you can just secure your camera to it and keep it on the base of the camera so what you can do here is your grip tight and if you mount this in such a way that it looks neat you can square it up that's a bit better you just tighten it up you can then put that on the tripod I'll just uh, see if I can move the over here just I have my red snapper. It's a pretty decent tripod for a hundred pounds, about one sixty dollars. It's got a good ball head on it, and I've got my plate with the Joby grip type. Lock it into place. Make sure that's secure. The iPhone or whatever smartphone you have, make sure it's secured in there and uh, it's just over these lugs there, you don't want it slipping out and uh, there you have it, you have a very good tripod mount doing your time lapse just still videography and um, well, slow mos were very steady hand would look better on one that waved all over the place. Fifteen pounds, Chubby Grip type. It's a good solution for filming with your uh, your smartphone holding it steady. Anyway, thanks for watching. It's my first unboxing, so I have a uh